In this video, I'll show you how to fix lag in Roblox Mobile. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. So for the first fix, we actually need to be in a game on Roblox. So you can go and launch any Roblox game. And so once you're in the Roblox game, all you need to do is first video and pause the game by pressing on the Roblox icon in the top left, just like this. And then it's gonna go and show you people. But what you need to do is go and select settings at the top of your screen, just like so. Then what you need to do is scroll down and by default the graphics mode is going to probably be set to automatic and if it's set to automatic all you need to do is tap on the left or right arrow and you can go and switch it to manual and then if it's already set to manual as well that's fine and then what you can do is go and lower the graphics quality just like so if you're experiencing a lot of lag then go and decrease it all the way down and so you may want to try and find a balance between the graphics and the performance because of course if you have really high performance and your graphics may not look as good as they could do but it's up to you. For the next method I recommend closing back background apps so you can do this on pretty much all types of mobile devices background apps or just apps running in the background is going to go and take up ram on your phone which means robots can go and use less so to go and close them it's really easy all you need to do is swipe up on your phone on an iphone it's quite similar on android and literally go and swipe up like that to go and close them it's really easy and it's definitely worth doing that and as i said before it's very easy to do on other types of phones as well and so for the next method what you need to do is actually go and charge your device so if we go and look at my phone charge right now on an iPhone, I'll open up my control center just like so. As you can see, it says 32%, but it's actually set to a low power mode. So on an iPhone, if it's um, orange or on an iPad or an iPod, if it's orange, this means it's on low power mode. So it's probably worth disabling this and charging your phone because if your phone's low on battery or in low power mode, sometimes your device is going to go um, and try and sort of save uh, your battery by lowering device performance. So you want to go and disable low power mode and most types of devices are going to go and have some type of power saving consumption mode. So it's definitely worth disabling that uh, if you want to go and have ultimate performance, but of course it will then use more battery, but you're here to reduce lag. So I'm assuming that's what you want to achieve. Here's how you can disable low power mode on an iPhone, but it's probably gonna be quite similar if you're on an Android device or something like that, all you need to do is open up your settings and go and find your battery setting. So scroll down, here's battery, then you can go and tap on it. And then what you can do is go and switch off low power mode like that. And that's it. Hopefully your device will now perform better. The next thing I recommend doing is restarting your device or fully shutting it down and turning it back on again. This just goes and deletes sort of temporary files and loads of other things like that. So it's definitely worth doing. To do that on an iPhone, you just need to hold the power button and the increase volume button. It will take a moment. Then all you need to do is slide at the top to power off your device and then it's gonna completely power it off and you will then need to go and turn it back on after it's gonna power it off, which will take sort of 10 to 20 seconds. Then just hold the power button and your device will restart. As I said before, uh, that's very similar on all types of mobile devices to go and turn them on and off. And the next thing I recommend doing is just making sure there is some free storage space on your phone. I just find that my phone gets quite laggy if it's really full on storage. So delete some pictures, some apps or whatever if your device is nearly full because sometimes having a bit of extra storage is gonna make your phone perform better and that's very easy to do on all types of devices. And the final thing is if your Roblox is still lagging is so you may just need to go and upgrade your phone or maybe get a better tablet or something like that. Uh, and yeah, you may just need to upgrade it because if you've got an old phone, then ultimately there's no really way to increase performance if you've tried all of these methods in this video. If you found this useful, then please consider leaving a like. Peace.